Well, hi, thanks for watching my video. So today I thought we'd do something a little bit different. Um, we're gonna do a video based on running a business. Well, I would call it a business. Only this time the opportunity is given to uh, an elder sim because they don't really get many opportunities, do they? So this is gonna be a really nice, heartwarming video. Okay, so this is our main character. This is Mrs. Strep recently lost her husband and she's well she's got her mojo back she's ready to get out on the town she's uh, quite a feisty little thing just a sweet kind-hearted innocent old lady or is she no I'm just fucking with you guys she is in fact a deeply disturbed sicko so she's going to uh, start a business from home uh, running an orphanage so uh, I think it's going to be a pretty beautiful thing for everyone involved. So her aspiration is fabulously wealthy, she's self-assured, she's materialistic and she also hates children, which is one of the qualities you need to be able to yeah. work with children, in my opinion. So let's go, I'll show you the establishment. Okay, so this is the, uh, the orphanage, it's pretty colourful, inviting. Some might say, got a little sandpit over here. Just trying to make it look as attractive as possible, you know. In the back, we've got a little playing area as well. I'll let you in on a little secret. All of this, literally all of this, is a decoy. The plan is we're going to adopt children, bring them into our house, you know, make out like we're, we're there to take care of them. So when the social workers come, and I know they don't, but you know, humor me to drop the kids off they'll walk up the stairs they'll come into the building and this is what they'll see nice bright colorful environment where children can really thrive full of toys full of life and so you know they'll think nothing of leaving the kids here knowing they're going to have a great life actually uh, as i hear this it's sounding pretty bleak oh well good thing it's a cartoon and so uh We'll use this room to uh, get the kids to stay. And then they'll go through here. Oh, what's down there? What's down there, I wonder? So then they go down the ladder and they're brought into this a basement, I guess. It's just got some brick hallways and... Oh, what's this? What's this on the side? That's right, in for a penny, in for a pound. I've put everything in here so that they can be, you know, as self-sufficient as possible. If they need to go, they can go. If they're hungry, they've got a mini fridge. This, this is where the money comes into it. Basically, I'm planning for this to be uh, the home for the, uh, the workers. Because, you know, we want to make some money, but we don't want to actually put the effort in. So this is where they'll, they'll live. Um, this, this kid is going to have a science table. I've never actually got them to play with a science table before, so I don't know if that makes any money, but it better. Otherwise, that kid is in for it. So uh, that's the place where they'll be making some money for us. Their little workstations, I suppose, is a cute term. And uh, this is the last one. This one's also got a drawing table. So there we go. There we go. There's the contrast from what they'll see when they come in to then what they'll see after. So yeah, today is a great day because finally I get to live out my real life dream. The difference is, in The Sims 4, there's no background check. So who's laughing now? Okay, well, no need to waste any time. Let's go and adopt our first slave. Uh, child. Adopt. Adopt. Come on, Mrs. Strep, you saucy minx. It's time to get some kids in this house. Uh, I'm going to try and do it... Um, in somewhat of an organized way. Okay, so I'm gonna set myself realistic goals and um, expand the business from there. Why can't you get upstairs? What's wrong? What's the problem? Can you get there? Is it a building issue on my part? Okay, you can go up the stairs. Oh, can you walk here? Is there not enough room? What's the problem? Is the problem that there's not enough room? Oh shit, okay. That's fine, we can fix that, we can fix that. 
Oh, also, um, I know a lot of you are probably quite jealous at this gorgeous nursery looking build. If you like, I will put it on the gallery. I don't think I use too much custom content. I have so much custom content that I kind of lose track on uh, what is and what isn't, so... Okay, so you can get there. Why can't you get there? Is that the problem? Okay, okay, she can get in now. Good, good. Alright, well, we've tackled the front door, so now we can tackle anything. So yeah, as I was saying, I'm going to follow uh, a planned approach, which is we'll get one child, and then as soon as they've earned a hundred simoleons, we can then extend to get another child, okay, until we get the full collection of three. It's just like any business, it doesn't make sense to start off fully staffed, does it? Uh, what about Dar Daryl? He seems like he's had a bit of a tough life. He probably wouldn't recognise corruption instantly. Let's go for him. Yeah. Daryl, welcome to your new home. Let's go outside and get him. And perhaps you can change out of that ridiculous get-up. Come on, woman. How long does it take to adopt a child? You've been gone over an hour. Oh, Mrs. Strepper's bringing home a new family member. We'll keep him as, as Daryl. He's too old, really, to get him used to a new name, isn't he? Change your outfit. Hello, Daryl. Hello. Follow me. That's it. Follow us. Come on into your new life. Exciting, isn't it? Yes, welcome. Welcome. Shall we take you downstairs? Show you your new bedroom. She's smashing his t castle. I don't know why you're doing that. The kids were never going to play with it. It was only ever to keep up appearances anyway. Oh, shit. I forgot that wall is now blocking off the... Uh... That's fine. That's fine. We can fix that. There we go. Okay, Daryl. Well, you can have the first bedroom here. Might have to use my sim teleporter just to uh, pop him in his bedroom. May as well put one in every room because... We're going to need it eventually as the business expands. There you go, there's your new home. Cozy, isn't it? Alright, well we've had some laughs, it's time to get to work. Draw a nice picture, draw a picture of shapes, build some skills up. Make yourself useful. This is where it all starts, you know, this is where it all starts. It's quite selfless really, getting the kids to fend for themselves, you know. Teaching them early. Drawing a nice picture? Yeah? Why don't you draw a nice picture of what you imagine freedom looks like? You know what I wish? I wish that there was an interaction where she could, like, shake his, his door and, like, you know, torment him <laughs> from outside the cell. Okay, well, I'm going to leave you to it. And uh, Granny is going to watch some porn. There we go. What pawn. Great. Uh, that was never actually even going to be part of the video, but fuck it. In for a penny. You want a completely corrupt sim? Here she is. <laughs> Mrs. Strep. Oh, fuck. I shouldn't. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to censor that. Fuck's sake. You finished? Yeah? Two simoleons. That's all that's worth. And you're meant to try and earn a hundred. So, I guess you... You better, you better try again, because at this rate you're going to have to draw 50 of those. Maybe next time I'll get him to make holiday crafts. They might be worth more, possibly. Oh, Grandma's feeling flirty. I don't know why I'm calling her Grandma. She isn't, but, you know. Still only two simoleons. Oh, you're going to have to up your game, Darren. Don't want to have to get the cane out. Well, he's reached level two, so he might be able to earn a little bit more money going forward. All right, what's this worth? What's this worth? Still two simoleons. Oh my god, Daryl, you're going to be going forever. Is there anything else children can do to earn money from the confines of a prison cell? I don't know. All I know is you are really going to have to up your game because this performance is pathetic. I mean, you've been sat there for hours and you've made like eight simoleons worth. You need to get a fucking grip. Oh, creativity level three. Okay, okay, this is good. This is good. Progress. And this one is worth three simoleons, so... 
We're getting there, we're getting there. Draw another vehicle. The school for, school for Darren starts in about an hour. Yeah, okay. Optimism. Boy doesn't need to worry about his grades, he'll be fine. Should Daryl should Daryl skip school? Yeah, he's got no choice. Even if I told him to go to school, how's he gonna get through the bars, Sims? Think it through. Oh, you know, your cell does look lovely now that you've added some colour to it. I mean, it's gonna look pretty bleak again when we sell it all in one go, but... Oh, someone on the phone. The principal is calling. His grades will suffer. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Almost level four, so... High hopes. High hopes. What's wrong? You hungry? Well, you've got a fridge there. I mean, what more do you need? Just grab... I don't know. Grab, grab a snack or something. Have some crackers. I mean, be self-sufficient. Why is he saying he can't get in there? What, what's the problem? Why can't you get in there? Okay, well then maybe I'll just get him a full... Full-size fridge. Kids, I mean, they are just always ungrateful, aren't they? You give them the world and they still fucking bitch. There you go, how's that? Is it because I didn't give him a counter? I mean, you really don't need that much luxury, you know? It really shouldn't have to get you a fucking counter as well. Well, I don't really know what to do, because... You won't eat anything, you know, you, you really are so destructing yourself, you know, this is pure self-destruction, really is. Maybe, oh, what, what the, are you okay? <laughs> Dress up for the occasion? Wow. Okay, I've got an idea. You can make something for the kid and uh, I'll, I'll drop it down to him. How about that? Because there's no counter space? Oh, for fuck's sake. What do you mean there's no available counter space? There's counter space right here. Maybe I should get rid of the curtains. Maybe that's what's confusing it. Oh, wow. Look at all that counter space we have there. Oh, plenty to do some cooking. Oh, apparently not. Apparently not. Absolute fucking joke. Well, okay. Well, I guess we're getting takeaway then. Every day. <laughs> Pizza delivery pepperoni pizza that'll do that'll do you're gonna have to hold hold on kid okay in the meantime just keep drawing all right oh, she is such a flirt mrs strep hey you were not invited in go away get out fuck off you're not coming in you're not coming in can't invite people in and have them looking around might get suspicious why does a pizza have an octopus on it. Is there something I'm missing about how pizza is made? That's it. Take the pizza. Okay, you can have yourself a slice. And then the, the kid can have some too. Where is he? Where are you, kid? Here he is. There you go. You can eat it off the floor. Go nuts. Take a slice, you lucky dog. You enjoying that? Is that good? Yeah. Great. I am having a little bit of a uh, reality check. Which is that the Sims children in The Sims 4 are far more useless than the other ones that you get. In The Sims 2 and The Sims 3. Because their skills are so limited, like they only have like, you know, shitty kiddie skills, that it's not like they can make like 30 simoleons from a painting or anything like that. Not when they're confined in a box room anyway. So I think it was quite unrealistic for me to expect a turnover of $100 per child, 100 simoleons even. So I'm going to lower that to 50, okay? Just trying to be realistic. Just trying to be realistic. This little chap, he's pretty tired as well, so you know, you can you can get some sleep. Not completely heartless. So I'm just going to do a quick little check, see what what we're at at the minute. Two. This one's two as well, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so that's ten. That's twenty. Twenty-five, okay. So we're about halfway through. Why can you not sleep in this bed? What's your, what is your problem? 
All right, you want to sleep on the floor? You sleep on the floor. He gave you a bed. Oh, he's heartbroken. Is it because we lured you here under false pretenses? Smiley, Rainbow's Orphanage. We take pride in how happy our children are. Look at his little face. He's, he's happy. He's a happy little chappy. Is he having a little nap nap on the floor? Yeah. Aww. His little cell, look, it's so full of life. Bless him. You're a good boy, Daryl. Good boy. Oh, even the party queen is conked out as well. <laughs> Bless. It's been a very tiring day for everyone involved, hasn't it? Yeah, well, it's all that excitement. Yeah. Bless. All right, kid, you've had enough sleep. Time to pull your finger out. All done? Great. Now draw people. And if you get peckish, you've got that pizza here. I don't know why you're so sad. What's his issue? Social. What the? There's a pizza. Talk to the pizza. Oh, six simoleons for that picture. Now we're talking, boys. So that brings us up to... 31. Oh, I didn't count this one either. 33 simoleons. So, 18 more simoleons worth of pictures and we can recruit you a little friend who you can talk to from behind the wall. That'd be nice, won't it? Yeah, little friend. Oh, level 5 of the creativity skill. Yeah. You done? Draw another one. How much is that worth? Another 6. So that's the, your total at 39. What's the matter? Why can't you use the toilet? What's, what's the problem? The toilet's completely usable. Go and use it. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, that, that's a cute pick. That is a very cute pick. How much is that one worth? Another six. Oh, very nice. That's it. I don't even need to ask him. He knows. He knows. Oh, here we are. 47. You just have to do one more picture and then we'll be good. We'll be good. I really don't know what I can do about his his hunger thing though, you know? I really, I really don't know. Okay, you've got your 50. Well done, well done. So, that means we can recruit a new little, little lad. So I suggest you wake up. It's time to expand our family. Yeah, that's right, that's right. I want another one. Uh, what about... What about Stella? Let's go for Stella. See you later, boy. We're going to go and get Stella. Mrs. Strep is bringing home a new family member. Oh, here she is, little Stella Strep. Imagine working in foster care and have that walk in and say, I'd like to adopt a child, please. And then you just go, yeah, OK, seems, seems cool. That. This. This walks in. Uh, yeah, totally fine. Well, welcome, Stella. You're going to love it. Right, Stella, you can be the science kid. Actually, no, before I do that, I'm going to see if there's anything I can do with these kids' rooms just to make them a little bit more self-sufficient and not, you know, having to worry about their needs all the time and... Having to worry about them crying all the time. Okay, how about that? So I've given him this room. I just want to, before I give her the same, I want to see whether it's functional. No, apparently it's still not. Oh well, you can die then. I, I've lost patience with you. Oh, but now he can open the fridge. Oh, so it's fine. He can do it. He was just having a, a moan. Okay, try now. Try now. Oh, this kid's already started working on the science stuff. Didn't even need to ask her. Okay, crisis averted. I've managed to get her to be able to cook. So she's going to serve uh, some eggs on toast for everybody. So the kids don't have to starve. So, you know, there's some good news there. I think you should draw some animals. Why can you not get there? What is your fucking problem? This kid, I swear to God... I mean, I knew he was going to be a problem child, but fuck me. I didn't realise he'd be so fucking... 
Whiny. There you go. Draw a nice picture of an animal. That will make you feel better. A fire has started. Brilliant. Oh, Mrs. Strep. I don't see a fire. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Well, you better put it out. There are kids downstairs. <sighs> okay. Well, then let's replace it. Maybe we should try and make something just a, a little bit more simple. How about that? Oh, it's doing that adorable thing where it's saying there's no counter space again. Brilliant. I love this game. Yeah, it's really good. No glitches at all. I say that. I don't think it is the game. I think it's something going on, probably with like my mods or something. Okay, well, um, I guess it's pizza again today then. <laughs> yep, that's what it looks like, don't it? Yeah. Let's get a pizza delivery. Pepperoni again. We'll have the same thing every day. Right, well, let's see how this kid's getting on. How's it going, Stella? Well, she's getting a few mental skills, which is good. I don't know whether this actually gives you an end product. Well, seeing as I don't think she can make money, can she? I don't think she can actually make potions, though, because it's, it's not doing anything. And she's been doing that for ages, and she hasn't got a single potion in her inventory, so I'm thinking maybe she can't. Hey, Daryl. See, you're not doing anything. Perhaps you should get at that activity table. She's just playing basketball over there. I wonder if there's anything else they could do to make money. I'm just going to snatch it from her hands while she's playing with it. She can have another drawing table. At least that way we can make some money. There you go, kids. Start drawing. Did that pizza ever arrive? I don't think it did, did it? No. I'm not going to lie. This is turning out to be a bit of a disaster, really. What about if I send her to get some apple crackers? Now, can she... Okay, well, she can put them into a sack lunch. Bear with me here. Bear with me. No, don't eat them. Put them into a sack lunch. Put them into a sack lunch. Oh, here are some crackers. Some cheese crackers, okay. And here's the sack lunch. Okay, okay. So... You kids are in for a real treat. Stella, you can have some cheese crackers. And Daryl, you can have some animal crackers, see? Oh, I knew it'd be fine. There you go, eat cheese crackers, and then you can eat your animal crackers. There you go, there's your little sack lunch. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. There we go, two happy children. Two happy little angels. Looks like he's having a bit of a nightmare, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, he's crying. You still tense from the fire. You didn't even, you weren't even there to see it. You didn't even have to deal with the fire. Okay, come and draw some shapes. You, you need to get practicing. I mean, look at Daryl. Look at his room. Look how colourful it is. That didn't happen overnight. Actually, it did, so... You know, maybe you should put in a little bit more effort. Now, some people would call this slave keeping. I prefer it being called an opportunity for future entrepreneurs. I mean, when there is a life simulation game with a variety of possibilities, how can you not play as a very elderly sim running an at-home prison? Who's the most vulnerable generation now? Not us. What are you doing there? Bidding on eBay? She's buying some little ceramic rabbits and little ornaments of frogs on eBay. That's what old people like, isn't it? Little pictures of animals, I guess. Your pictures are really shit. You know, they really are. One simoleon. At least with Daryl, his was two at the beginning. I mean, j Jesus, Stella. I think Daryl's going to end up being the one putting all the hard work in and getting us to 100. In fact, I don't even know if that's going to happen. I'm, I'm losing count. These are your drawings. Really? These are your drawings? 
I really don't want to knock your confidence, Stella, but my cat could draw better drawings than that with his fucking ball sack. Or his tail. You know what? I'm not going to waste any more time on this kid watching her make shitty drawing after shitty drawing. I bet, screw the rules. Rules are meant to be broken. We're going to adopt another one. Pissing me off. What about Brennan? He seems like a straight edge guy who keeps his nose clean. Let's go for him. Oh, little Brennan Strep. Where is he? Here he is. Welcome to the family. I'll teleport you to your, your new bedroom. You can't get there by foot. Little Brennan, there he is, look. All optimistic and full of life. Come on then, get drawing, get drawing. <sighs> Stella. You turned out to be my biggest disappointment. Why don't you do another drawing, huh? Prove something to yourself, Stella, not just me. Be more like Brennan, you know, optimistic, full of life. Oh, look at that. See, that's his first picture. That's his first one. Oh, Brennan, you and I, we're going to get on, mate. We're going to get on. How are you getting on, Stella? Huh. So that's your fifth one. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. First one. Fifth one. First one. Well, practice makes perfect, I guess, Stella. So, you know, just keep on keeping on. Brennan's my new favourite child, I think. Oh, perfect. Maybe you should make some summer crafts. Really go all out. Don't hold yourself back, Brennan. How are you doing, Daryl? you still got a strop on. Oh, sick. That's actually a really good picture. 15 simoleons. See, that's what happens. You lock them in a room, they become a tortured soul, and then they create masterpieces like that. Lock them up and they really thrive. That's all I'm saying, right? That's all I'm saying. This one, she came in. High-tech potion set that she could use to her heart's content. And look what you get for it. Yeah. Look at the level of effort you get. You done another one there, Bre Brennan? Good job. Good job. Maybe when you finish crying in your bed, you can come and do another one? Yeah? Yeah. Good boy. Well, uh, that's been a lot of fun for this video. I think I'm going to end it now, though, because I've been recording for over an hour, so I feel like this video is going to be long enough as it is. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see a part two. Uh, I don't know what I would do, but maybe we could build an empire, you know? This is a fairly big lot. Maybe we could just fill it with cells. I don't know. I don't want to get too carried away, but thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, and uh, let me know what you think of this wholesome video. Bye-bye.